Namaste beautiful souls and welcome back to Yoga Infusion and especially a big welcome if you are new. Today's class is going to be an espresso style class, espresso shot, meaning it's going to be short and powerful and to the point. But before we begin, I would love to invite you to join us over at the Yoga Infusion Virtual Studio, where we have classes just like this, as well as monthly training plans, exclusive classes strictly for the studio, and monthly new moon circles to build community and get that live aspect of the studio, right? Building that community like you would in a, an in-person studio. So I'll make sure that that information is down in the description below. And when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. We'll begin today with a seated warm-up, so come down and find your comfortable seat on the mat. Bringing your palms face up or face down on the knees, close the eyes, and just take a moment here before we begin to really work out, take a moment to ground in, to settle into your space and into your body at this moment. So finding that comfortable seat, you can sit yourself up on a bolster or a cushion or a block if you'd like. Close the eyes, slightly lean back to stack the shoulders over the hips. And just bring a gentle engagement into the core and begin to notice the breath. Notice how it moves in and out of the body, of the nose at this moment in time. Without trying to lengthen it, or slow it down, simply just see where it lands today. What does it feel like? What is the quality of the breath as we begin this practice? And I really like to take these few moments at the beginning of each practice to settle so that we're not rushing from our world off of the mat and taking that speed and that anxiety with us onto the mat. So creating sort of a bookend. Setting the intention to leave the day thus far behind so that we can create the sacred space on the mat. keeping the eyes closed now. If your hands are face up, turn them face down now and take them down onto the shins or the ankles. And as you inhale, draw the heart forward, elbows bend back. And as you exhale, round to the back onto the sits bones, draw the chin into the chest. Inhale forward, shoulder blades glide together. Exhale, rounding back. Seated cat cow or spinal flex, inhale forward, exhale back. Beginning now to lengthen the breath, slowing it down. Take two more. Last one. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale here. Now, bringing the torso over towards that right knee, swooping it around to the front on the inhale towards the left knee, and then exhaling, rounding back in a big circle on the hip. So inhale forward and around, exhale back and around. Sufi grinds, 
Inhale forward and around. Exhale back and around. Beginning to take that spinal flexion and extension into all of the nooks and crannies of the spine and of the hips and the side body. Using your torso to draw a big circle. Taking the time to enjoy all of these little nuances before we really get into the work. Last one. Inhale, come to center. And switch the legs now, so the opposite knee in front. And then we'll take it to the other side. So starting with the torso over towards that left leg, swooping around to the right. And then exhale, swooping back around to the left with a rounded back. I like to really exaggerate this movement a little bit so that I can get into the side body and the hip a little bit more. But if you'd like to make the circles smaller and engage the core, you can do that as well if that feels best for you. Just moving with the breath, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Last one. Inhale back to center. Exhale here, noticing where you land. And then as you're ready, walk the hands onto the mat and come into a tabletop. Spread the fingers wide, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Look back and make sure that your shins are parallel rather than the feet coming in. So really press down through the tops of the feet, lightly engage the core. Inhale, kick the right leg back, flex the toes towards the mat, heel lifts to the sky. Inhale here, exhale, draw the knee in between the elbows, rounding through the back. Inhale, kick, lift the heel, arch the back a little bit. Exhale, round and squeeze, two, three, Bringing the cat cow into the back as we squeeze four and engage the core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Place it down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, squeeze it in. One. Straight to the other side, espresso shot. Two, really getting into it right away. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Flex the foot, and then point as you squeeze in. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step it down, flip the toes under now, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Take the arms a little bit wider, create space for the shoulders, pedal through the feet, gaze at the space between the heels. Heart yearns towards the thighs, tailbone yearns towards the top corner of the room. Shake the head, yes and no. Releasing the back of the neck and then come to stillness, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, hop, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms up to the sky. 
And exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Tadasana, parallel the feet. Press equally into all four corners of the feet. Keep a light engagement of the core. So you can do this by noticing if you have a tendency to sway in the lower back, having that sway back like a horse. Try to mitigate that by lengthening the tailbone towards the heels. Or another way to imagine it is imagine you have hooks on the front of the hips and we want to hook those hips up towards the face. And you can play with this in your own body, but you'll begin to notice an engagement of the core even here. Awesome. Inhale, reach the arms up, grounding down through that right foot. Draw the left knee into the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. We're going to work on a little bit of balance today, a little bit of standing abs. Awesome. From here, take a bend through that left knee, step it back forward, knee into the chest, and step it down. Other side, right knee into the chest. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, step forward, knee in, squeeze the core. And step it down. Awesome. Draw the left knee in and step it back high lunge inhale here exhale reach the right arm back left arm forward open arm twist press that left hip away from you notice if the left hip starts to drop try to square the hips and squeeze the shoulder blades toward one another awesome inhale here exhale bring the left hand down right arm up easy twist <sighs> Reach the right arm up and overhead. And then plant the right hand down, step it back, plank. Keep the right heel lifted and then squeeze the knee in between the elbows. Kick it back 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look between the hands, and make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms up to the sky. Exhale, here. Inhale, draw the right knee in the chest. Exhale, step it back, high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Reaching the left arm back, right arm forward, try to square the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Awesome. Inhale. Exhale, drop that right hand down, left arm up. Easy twist. Press the right hip away from you, or right heel away from you. Bend through that left knee. And then reach the left arm up and over, palm facing down. And plant the palm, step it back, three-legged plank, left heel lifts, and squeeze the knee between the elbows and kick it back. One, two, core tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, vinyasa. Don't forget your second chaturangas to downward facing dog. Mm. Inhale, lift the hip, heels, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, hop, step or jump, jump to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms up to the sky. Stay here, exhale. Hmm. Inhale, draw the left knee in. Engage the core, balance. Exhale, step it back, high lunge. Inhale here. And then exhale, bring the right hand down that left thigh, reach the left arm up and over. Look over the right shoulder if you can. Otherwise, just look straight to the right side of the room. Really pressing that left heel away from you. Bending through the right knee. Smile. <laughs> Inhale here. And exhale, bring the left hand down, right arm up, easy twist. 
Come onto the outer edge of that left foot. Step the right foot back. Now side plank. Ooh. Losing the balance. All right, spread the left fingers wide. Right knee to right elbow. And then right toes to right hand. So elbow, then toe tap. One, one, two, two. You can always do this from the forearms. Three, three, or the forearm. Four, just the one. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10, oh, plank, vinyasa, to downward facing dog. Mm. Inhale, lift the heels, look between the hands. Exhale, hop, step, or jump to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Exhale, here. Engage that core, lengthen the tailbone, press into all four corners of the feet, parallel the feet, grow tall. Awesome. Inhale that right knee up, engage the core, catch the balance, exhale, step it back, high lunge. <sighs> Inhale here, fingertips reach high, exhale, take the left hand to that right thigh, reach the right arm, up and over, looking over the left shoulder. Press through the inner edge of that left foot. Press the right heel away from you. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm up. Stacking that right wrist underneath the shoulder. Come onto the outer edge of that right foot. Place the left foot on top of it, side plank. Left knee, left elbow. Left toe, left hand, 10 times. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, plank. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heels, look between the hands. Exhale, make your way to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop up. Extended Tadasana. Exhale here. Gaze forward, lift the hips, engage the core, relax the shoulders. Inhale, left knee in. Exhale, step it back, high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, reach the right arm back around to that left thigh, twist, standing twist, smile. Inhale here, exhale, place the left hand down, right arm up, easy twist. Come into your side plank. <sighs> Take the right hand now to the center of the mat. So we're in a very narrow sort of plank, but with the left hip down, right hip up. And from here, squeeze that left knee in, right knee in. So toes are down, heels are not touching probably, unless you've got some really good um, balance or uh, flexibility. Most of the weight's on the left hand. Right hand is there for balance. Left knee in, right knee in. One, two, three. Left hip is down. Four, five, squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Plank, vinyasa. Mm. Inhale, lift the heels, look between the hands. Exhale, make your way to the front. Moving quickly, inhale, half lift. But intentionally, exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop up to standing, engage the core, relax the shoulders, exhale here. Awesome. Whew. 
Inhale, right knee into the chest. Exhale, step it back, high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, side, or easy twist, rather. Inhale here, and then exhale, side plank. <laughs> so I fell over. It's okay, we all fall over. All right, bring the left hand down now to the center of the mat. Most of the weight is on that right hand. And then squeeze the right knee in, left, 10 times. One, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, plank, vinyasa. To down dog. All right, bring the knees down now onto the mat, tabletop. Stack the hips above the knees, press through the feet, walk the hands as far, far forward as they'll go. And then keeping the hips stacked above the knees, drop the forehead or the heart to the mat, extended puppy. Inhale, walk it back in. Let's take a thread the needle. So take the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it through. Onto the right ear, back of right shoulder. Keeping it quick. Nice little stretch, other side. Left arm in the air and thread it through. Coming back, come to sit on your bum. Bring the soles of the feet on the mat, knees up, leaning back, Ooh, engage the core, lift the heart, take the hands in front of you, point the finger, and we'll pulse here 10 times. One, two, three, straight up and down, little baby pulses. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, come back to center. Roll down onto your back. Whew. Bring the knees above the hips, feet above the knees. So stacking the ankles, the knees, and the hips on top of each other, okay? You bring your hands underneath the hips for support. Really press your lower back into the mat. And we'll do something we haven't done for a long time on my channel. I just rediscovered it, so I'm super excited. So it's W leg raises. So we'll drop the heels with the legs together as far as we can before we begin to disengage that lower back. Come back up, take the legs wide now, in a V shape really is what it is, and then dropping the hips down until you begin to disengage that lower back, and come back up, flexing the feet towards the sky, bring the legs together again, and down, and up, wide, down, and up, one, together, up, wide, up, two, continue. Three. Four. Really press your back into the mat. Five. You shouldn't be able to talk. Six. Six. Seven, 
seven, eight, eight, whew, almost there, <laughs> nine, nine, ten, ten. Ah, awesome. Bring the knees in, take just a quick break, quick second before we move on to the next floor abs where reach the arms above the head, lift the head, right? So we're really pressing the lower back into the mat. Shoulder blades down, lift the head, and then take the legs long once again, only to the point where you begin to disengage. So you don't need to have your feet parallel, your legs parallel to the floor if you begin to disengage the lower back, okay? So your legs can be almost straight to the sky even, and that's totally fine. It needs to be your level, okay? Where your core is really engaged, and it's gonna look different for every single person. So press the lower back down, lengthen the legs, lift the head, reach the arms up overhead. This is your inhale. Exhale, squeeze the knees in, give yourself a hug, lightly. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze knee to, knee to nose, knees to nose. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Good job. All right, come on to your left side. Side crunches. Okay. So I gotta move my little mic here because it's super uncomfortable. No matter what I do, coming onto that left hip, bend the knees, lift the knees to the right elbow ten times. One, using the left arm as support. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Right side down, left side up. Let's go. One, two. Told you the strong today. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10. Awesome. Roll down now onto your back. Give yourself a big hug. You did amazing. <laughs> the ab work is done. Take your feet on the mat, parallel the feet, press through the heels, and lift the hips, come into bridge. Press the elbows into the mat, or you can clasp the hands underneath the body, squeeze the thighs together. <sighs> Nice little ab stretch. And release it down. Rock and roll up to a seat. Take the left leg forward, right leg back. Quick pigeon. Press through the top of that right foot. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, square the hips. And forward fold. We won't hold for very long today for uh, purposes of time, but if you have extra time, feel free to hold these poses, these stretches a little bit longer. But for the rest of us, walk it back up. Bring the right leg forward now, left leg back. Pigeon on the other side. Square the hips, press through the left foot, top of the left foot, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, forward fold, perhaps if it's in your practice. And come back to that lengthened breath. Perhaps it got shorter as we really worked out today. So coming back to that intentional, long, deep breathing. Inhale, walk it back in. Take both legs in front of you, hip distance apart. And then take both hands behind you, come into a martial arts twist. Full spinal adjustment. Hmm. And then 
then roll onto your back. Come into happy baby. You did good. You did good with this strong practice. Take the soles of the feet together, knees wide. And then bring the butterfly to the mat. Right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. Send some loving, healing energy into the belly from the heart. As this was a core-centric practice, knowing that your belly is part of the magical being that you are, and it deserves all the love for all the hard work that it does. So inhale here all the way, sending light and love into the belly. Open the mouth, exhale. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, really lift the belly, expand. Exhale, open mouth. The last time. And stay here for as long as you are able. From my heart and my belly to yours, namaste. Namaste.